Yo, what's up, happy people? I am Robert Arrington. This is Jordan Ogo. We're here on the island of Pagan in the far northern CNMI. This is the mayor of the Northern Islands. This is Mr. Ben Santos. We just call him mayor. On this island, it is absolutely essential to have fresh water and fresh meat. They eat a lot of seafood out of the ocean, but on this island, there's a population of wild cow. These aren't like cows that come out and hang out with you. It's like hunting an elk or a moose in the wild. They live with their nose and they are extremely cautious. Now they said there's a couple huge herd bulls here that are extremely dangerous. Not like, not like, oh, on our ranch, oh yeah, well the bulls are dangerous, which they're not dangerous at all. I just tell people that to have fun with them. On this island, they are very, very dangerous. And I traveled halfway around the world with this setup. This is a uh, diamond carbon deploy. It's got a Burris Oracle sight. Um, it's got a QAD drop away rest and I'm shooting the Carbon Express Mayhem SDS. It's a small diameter arrow. I'm only telling you that because if I'm willing to travel all the way around the world with something, that means I trust it and I believe in it. Typically, whenever I'm deer hunting, I shoot a Rage, a, a mechanical broadhead, a Rage. But on this hunt, I'm gonna shoot the Muzzy One. It's one piece of steel milled into a broadhead. It's extremely sharp and what I'm looking for is penetration. Before we start off, I wanna take a practice shot at that coconut up there. Twenty-four yards. <laughs> I traveled halfway around the world, and she's still right as the male. That's awesome. <laughs> It's all lava. That's a lava flow. This is just out of this world. Elevation, y'all. Pull an elevation. We gotta get really quiet now. I just saw fresh cow manure, and uh, everything seems right. Yep, it's hot. we can smell the cow. He wants to climb up a tree so he can get a better vantage point and look with his binoculars. Dude, when he said he was climbing up the tree, he wasn't joking. He's up there. Could you see anything? Oh, 
Huh? Coconuts are blocking it. The coconuts are blocking it. So, good try though. All right, we're gonna continue. We just found the mother of all bulls. That is huge. All the way over there, probably, again, a thousand meters from here. The wind's going up like that. What do you think we should sneak up this way? So, the cows busted us, got out of here. But look at this huge tree, unbelievable shade. That falls on your head. It would take more than a headache medicine to fix you. Yeah, I reckon that's good right there. Enough, boy. Enough. <laughs> That's the express way. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't like that on my best day ever. This dude's amazing. Dad, gum, boys. I feel like royalty, man. Taking good care of me. That's amazing. That's really, really good. You could survive on this island for a long time with just coconuts. He thinks they're gonna go towards the beach to try to flank us and get around us. So we're gonna try to get ahead of them, drop down to the beach and see if we can't get a shot. It's hot up and down, but it's a lot of fun. Let's roll. All right, you guys, so we fell all the way off this hill down to the beach. And what happens with these wild cows is the reef catches pockets of fresh water from rain. And in the afternoon, this is where they come down to get fresh water out of the reef. So as crazy as that sounds, now we're gonna get back up into the coconut trees and hike to the west and see if we can't find one.
the wind has totally screwed us up. We got some big hogs coming in right here. It's starting to get dark and the boys at camp need meat, so we're gonna try to put the move on them. Killed him, son. <laughs> Heart shot. Are you kidding me? That might be the biggest hog I've ever killed, and I stuck it perfectly where it needed to go. Dude. How's that for amazing, you guys? Me and the boys, we're gonna go up there, gut the hog out, get him ready, try to figure out, are we gonna take him back whole, or are we gonna break them down and take back just the meat. This hog's getting a skull mount for sure. Let's look at this thing, you guys. Get down there and look at that. Like, what a mammoth wild hog. Hey, thank you so much, Mayor. This is Mayor Ben from the Northern Islands. You've been instrumental in making this whole expedition happen, brother. Yeah, Jordan, well. get in here, man. First hog you ever seen killed with a bow yeah. around here? Yeah. Straight into the shield, not the two Through the shield. That tells you how strong the bow is. Yeah. I'm gonna do a Euro mount out of the head. They're gonna take all the meat out of the head. We're gonna gut him, then we're gonna take his whole body back. So I will see you back at camp. <laughs> It's a big old pig. That is the biggest pig I've ever seen, I think. Yeah, he was absolutely massive. So, the great thing about this, we've got like 30 people on this island right now. This hog's gonna go to extremely good use, break them all down. Everyone will get together tomorrow morning start cutting up all the meat. Some will get fried, some will get smoked, some will get barbecued, some will get stewed. All will get eaten. What do you think about that, Jay? Right. This is Jay and Lena. Everyone's here. Now I believe that that thing can go through. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if y'all want to watch us clean this hog, there will be a link in the description below. I don't want to offend some people and I don't want to upset YouTube. YouTube's made it possible for me to tell the world my stories. So in respect to them, I will make the cleaning video a separate video and it will be listed in the description below. If not, we will see you in the kitchen tomorrow. And now let the cooking begin, y'all. The whole hog has been processed. Some of it's going on the smoker. Some of it's going to be adobo. And a lot of it's going to get barbecued. I can't wait to try it. Here on these out islands, everything is I mean, they're just doing the best they can with what they've got, so this is how he starts a fire. How long do you have to do that for? Uh, three hours. Three hours? Wow. It'll get hot. It'll get hot eventually, and then what happens? This, hold on. Oh, no, no, this is faster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that faster? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite way to cook wild pig? Uh, barbecue and uh, adobo, but my favorite is a barbecue. Yeah. Me too. Ah. So the wind can uh, slow down. There you go. This is how we do it.
What the heck, Jordy? How's it going? Look at the smoke coming off that thing, man. That is going to be good. Look at that, y'all. Here he goes. So He's... now I'm mixing the seasoning for the dry pork. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is salt, so more than salt. So now add in some uh, pepper. My special one. Onion? No, it's a uh, adinomoto. Just go like this. Go like this. Like this. And I'll give it to Ken. Oh, my boy. They're going to prepare all this for the smoker. So I got the onions, the meat, and the onions and the garlic. So now I'm putting in the soy sauce. That looks so good. Just uh, let it sit for five minutes so the sauce can uh, penetrate to the meat. And after five minutes, then I'll cook it. Perfect. It's amazing to me how fast that entire hog was processed for food. Not one person, not even myself, took a picture with that hog like, yeah, look at this. It was just job well done, next step. The wind's starting to blow and the adobo is done. Check this out, y'all. Come look at this. Look at that. Whew. Come out here. Come here, Paul. Let's take a piece of this. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Delicious. That is amazing. Mm. Hey. What's this? What's this? He's got to chew in. Mmm! Are you sure you don't have an Islander blood in there? <laughs> what? In, in you. Because this tastes like a, it's a perfect adobo. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. Hey. Okay, wait. I'm going to bring my pot. <laughs> <laughs> this lady is so awesome. She's always braiding Sarah's hair and I feel like I've got spit running out of my mouth. That tastes so good. Now, I want to tell you the truth. I didn't make this. Paul did. Oh, okay. I was thinking that. <laughs> I thought it would be that good. So I'm like, you must have Islander blood in That's you right. that you know how to cook that. This isn't like some huge production. Oh, we killed a wild boar and we're going to make a catch, clean, and cook. This is just like, mmm. Oh my God, that adobo is insanely good. But. The hog was just a source of meat, of food. Everyone's cooking, everyone's working, doing their thing. Here are the boys. How's it? Chow down. It's really great, man. It tastes good. Yeah? Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Here you go. What you got? Got uh, some wangy butter. <laughs> <laughs> mm, man. Tell me about it. Life on Poggin, y'all. That is amazing. Mm. Mm. Hey, I wish y'all were here. Look at that. Volcano. All kinds of Japanese bunkers up in the hill there. Right over there, right on the other side of that hill, was Japanese runway. We're gonna be showing you all of that. Thank you so much for following this journey. 
being a part of our live, part of our channel. Thank you for the encouragement and support you show my family and I. I love you guys. But that's all I got for today. There will be lots more. But take care. God bless. And we gone.